Deep in the city, hidden away from the bustling streets, there was an old, forgotten tunnel. Few people knew about it, and even fewer dared to enter. It was said that whoever entered the tunnel would never come out the same. But there was one who lived there. A girl with striking beauty, her eyes reflecting the mysteries of the world. The animation you just watched was created entirely using AI and today I'm going to teach you the complete process from start to finish. In the past, creating animated series like the ones you see on YouTube, TikTok and Instagram was really difficult. But now, thanks to AI, you can make them with a bit of creativity. To create an animated series like this, you need to follow a few key steps. Script writing. This includes the full story, descriptions of locations, characters, dialogues, voiceovers and more. Character design, creating consistent characters that will remain the same throughout the project. Storyboarding, sketching out each scene to visualize how the final animation will look. Generating videos, turning images into videos or generating video clips directly from text. Voiceovers and character voices, producing narration and character voices if needed. Editing and sound design, combining all the videos and audio elements, adding sound effects and finalizing the animation. For these steps, I use four different AI tools, each handling a specific part of the process, but before that I should mention that you can complete the entire process of creating animations with AI using Filmora, which is sponsor of this video as well, and you won't need to use different tools or websites anymore. If you don't have the time to learn and use multiple AI tools, you can actually do everything directly inside Filmora. It's a professional video editing software that also comes packed with AI tools for both creating and editing videos. It handles the entire video and animation production process and lets you create images, animate them, and even generate music effortlessly. Plus with smart short clips, audio to video, Video, smart scene cut, etc. Making viral videos has never been easier. With its powerful AI tools, it saves you time while giving you a pro level, lightweight, and super intuitive editing experience. Fast, smart, and built for creators. All right, now stick around till the end of the video. First of all, we need a story and a few prompts for creating a character and scenes. I got help from ChatGPT and I've saved all the necessary text in a Word file to keep things organized. I asked ChatGPT for a character prompt based on something I had in mind. Then I asked it to place the same character in five different situations and give me the prompts for those as well. Next I asked it to write a short story, maybe a spooky or mysterious one, about this character. After that I broke the story into five scenes with its help. Now we needed the prompts for images and videos for each of these five scenes so we could feed them to an AI tool like Pick Lumen to generate the images. To do this we go to the generate for free option on the Pick Lumen website where we can sign in using Google or an email. I've previously made several videos explaining how to use Pick Lumen and I'll share the link with you above. Um, but there are some differences now. For example, earlier, prompts were open for everyone, and you could directly copy or remix someone else's prompt to create your own unique image. Now, users can make their prompts private so that others can't use them. Also, there's a new search feature where you can type in a keyword and find images based on that. The site has also categorized images to make it easier to find your desired style. Once we get to the create section, the interface is quite simple. Here you need to enter the prompt for the image you wanna create. Here you can upload a reference image to keep the character environment or style consistent, same character consistency. No matter what language you input your prompt in, it'll automatically translate it into English here. If you don't feel like writing a complete prompt or can't, you can just write a few keywords or a sentence and it'll complete it for you. It has different models you can choose from, which we explained in previous videos. You can click the link above to check it out. Here you can choose your frame and you can also decide how many images you want to generate at once. Previously you could generate up to four for free, but now it's only up to two for free. You can also adjust other settings here. Here you paste in the character prompt, choose a model. I usually go with flux because it creates amazing images. Select the frame, 16 by nine for YouTube. Set the number of images to two and hit generate. If the result isn't exactly what you wanted, you can regenerate it until you get what you need or tweak the prompt until you're satisfied with the result. Perfect. 
Next, we need to generate animation sequences in a similar manner. We copy and paste the character prompts for each of the scenes into the generator. Now we need to generate a few images for scenes three to five that show the character in different situations. To do this, we need to use the character as a reference. We upload the character image here, then click generate. For animation, we move to Vidu, which we've also explained in uh, previous videos. One new feature is the reference tool in videos where you uh, upload three images and uh, the tool will combine them for you. To create the animation, we go to the image to video section in Vidu. After signing in, using either Google or email, we're given 80 credits daily for free, and each video generation costs four credits. If you run out of credits, you can log in with multiple emails to get more credits. In Vidu, we have three sections, reference in video, image to video, and text to video. We're working with image to video right now. Here we upload the image, leave the prompt section blank. It will automatically generate based on the image. Adjust settings like video duration, resolution, and number of videos to generate, and click Create. Once the video is ready, you can download it with a watermark. If you want to remove the watermark, you need to buy a plan or use specific apps to remove it, but it doesn't have commercial use unless you have a paid plan. If the first video result isn't to your liking, you can always click create again and adjust the prompts to get better results. For example, I didn't want a lot of changes to an image, so I just asked the generator to zoom in on it and it did a great job. Now let's move to CapCut to edit and finalize the animation, but I have to say instead of CapCut you can use Filmora because it has many more features. It includes built-in text to image, image to video, and text to video capabilities which can be very useful for you. Um, additionally, it offers a variety of AI powered tools for content creation, making your work much easier. The software also has multiple built-in sections that might be more useful to you than CapCut. Anyway, here we import the animated scenes. Now we want to add a voiceover to the video to tell the story. We go to the text section, drag it in, and add a timeline. You paste the text you want the voice actor to say into the timeline. Then we choose the text to speech section. The program has multiple voices to choose from, so you can listen to all of them and pick the one that fits the story. Deep in the city, hidden away from... Deep in the city, hidden away from the bustling streets. Deep in the city, hidden away from the bustling... Deep in the city. Once you select a voice, it adds it to the timeline. You can delete the text, edit the voiceover to get the result you want, and arrange the scenes according to the story. Here you can find tons of effects to make your animation look cooler. In the audio section, you can pick a music track. I search for a specific word. It gave me a bunch of uh, music options. I ended up selecting this one. Here I felt the music was louder than the voice, so I turned it down a little. At the end, I clicked on the last video and in the animation section, it showed me a bunch of effects. I chose the fade out effect since it's the end and the sound should fade out too. Let's check out the result. Until next time, stay creative. Deep in the city, hidden away from the bustling streets, there was an old, forgotten tunnel. Few people knew about it, and even fewer dared to enter. It was said that whoever entered the tunnel would never come out the same, but there was one who lived there. A girl with striking beauty, her eyes reflecting the mysteries of the world. 